Hi everyone, welcome back to This Is The Police. Day 72, Golden Bird, former secretary of Mayor Rogers found Bruce Lee murdered. Freeburg Tribune, dentist kills former secretary of Mayor Rogers. The fact, 33 year old Judith Pierce becomes third victim of the dentist. Oh, City Hall Mafia, they're good. Police station, uh oh, we've lost our last lifeline. Don't know what I did. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Make him drink. You assume it's a male horse. Anyway. Oh no. That's it. I think we are pretty much. I am too tired. I can hardly. Yes, go home. You've got. You're no use to us. Today, my daughter is opening an art exhibition in an elite gallery in the nearby city. Can I have the day off? Purdy, as it's you. Of course you can, my love. Go on. Have fun. See, I'm trying to be super nice now so I don't get any more complaints. Otherwise, I think that's game over. Darius, I thought you told you to go home. Didn't I? Didn't I let him go home? Was that somebody else? Um, we have, I think, a position vacant in the old cops. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cops in shift A. And we need our shift B. That was an easy one. So we got Jeffrey Kingston. He's got a fabulous beard. Um, we've got Johnny... Iwamoto, Iwamoto, I suppose. Uh, Taggart McStone, or oh, there was a good old Scottish cop called T uh, Taggart. James Burley, who looks a bit Native Indian, doesn't he? Or Native American. Um, let's go for old Seth Rogen here. And you were hired for B. Welcome, Jeffrey. Welcome to the uh, the force. Right. Um, Investigations. Is everyone... Mole is free. No, hang on. Mole. Mole should be working on this homicide case. Okay. That's fine. Don't worry. I was making sure everyone is actually working the way we want to. Um, We need to get some money. We've only got 133,000 so far. And we need to sort of boost that up quite a lot. Illegal business activities. Electronic shop owner Henry Harker reported two young men were collecting computers in the garage and selling them without registering sales licenses. This upsets, sorry, this <laughs> this upstart with his fat friend and <laughs> trying to destroy my business. They're making cheap counterfeits and misleading potential customers. These fraudsters don't have the respect of the law. Forney, take Darius. Go and sort those two young punks out. It's quite a nice, gentle start to the day. 10 o'clock, only one real minor skirmish. Nothing too much to worry about. City Hall, disorderly conduct. A woman entered City Hall carrying a basin. Slightly weird. Proceeded to the restroom to fill it with hot water, then took it to the front desk where she proceeded to wash her hair. The fiend. The guard on duty called the police. Apparently the woman is protesting that the fact that her home is without hot water for two months and the city has failed to promise to fix the problem. Well, I'm not surprised she's a little bit knocked. Asano, that's a job for you. She's got good customer relations skills. So many minor things. Legal business activity. In the garage, they're doing some work that's making a lot of noise. No one answers the door. Forcefully knock on the door. Turn on the siren loudspeaker. Break the door down. Let's forcefully knock on the door. There's a few students sitting in a jumble of computer circuit boards, soldering something. Um, what's going on here then? Hello, hello, hello. You guys are getting shut down. Let's go to the police station to discuss what you're doing. There we go. Easy. Forney, Darius. Good job, guys. Good job. Yes, very, very gentle start to the day. I love it. Already one o'clock. Disorderly conduct. Here we go. The lady washing her hair. Booker going down for years, probably, for washing her hair. Probably just get a caution. Wow, two o'clock. Twiddle your thumbs, everyone. Do, 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 ba, do, ba, do, ba, do. Three o'clock. Up past three. 
<laughs> Four o'clock. Is there anything happening today? Are our police that effective that their sheer presence is proactively stopping any crime? Look, five o'clock. Um, is my game... Oh, no. There we go. I thought my game had bugged out. Reckless endangerment. A passerby notices a suspicious worker carrying a drill. Oh, not this again. Dangerously close to the roadway. He pulled his helmet down over his eyes and I'll never forget a face. I knew right away I recognised him. It's the dentist. Of course it is. And he looked like he's about to jump. Oh, well, nothing else is going on. So Darius, take Fornley. Oh, it's not... Take Percy to hold your hand, because Percy's awesome. 11, 11. Oh, here we go. It's all happening now. Drug sales. Uh, movie theatre cashier E. Moody noticed a suspicious van, which seems to be some kind of shop. He's afraid that the drug trafficking have moved in next door. Okay, Asano, take Mazza. So you've got Kochi in Nordlanda left. It's all going rather well. Reckless endangerment. Uh, the road worker was repairing the road and wasn't threatening anyone, as I suspected. And that, that cost three cops to do that because they thought it was a dentist and they didn't want to go alone. Gas station assault. A trucker grew furious, furious when he discovered a dead cockroach in his sandwich. Ooh. He grabbed the waitress by her hair and beat her head on the table. Well, I'm not surprised, actually, because if this, if going into that sandwich killed a cockroach, a cockroach that could survive a nuclear blast, what the hell is in that sandwich? There's a thought for you. Anyway, the Roadhouse hostess called the police. Hurry, he'll soon be after me. Right, Kochi, take Nordlander, and take Purse. Oh, no, no, you two should be able to cover that, actually. Oh, the van. A uh, van is parked alone near the cinema. It looks empty. Walk up and quietly knock on the door. Watch... Uh, walk up and pound loudly on the door. Let's just watch it for a while. Oh, someone started moving inside the van. Run to the driver's door, pull a gun and order them to exit the vehicle immediately. Don't move, break the windows. Let's let's run and get the old gun out. 11, 11. Yes. Two mean ass bitches with the guns. They're not going to mess with them. They're not going to mess with the Sano and Mazza. Good job, girls. Good job. Well, this has been a surprisingly nice day. You wait for it to go horribly wrong now. But so far, it's been absolutely splendid. Eddie's Burgers. Here we go. Four more... Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. You have been found guilty of a furious, serious abuse of power and the city requires that your salary be reduced by 90%. Surely that's illegal. Further, we have reason to believe that overstaffing in the police department is contributing to the... No! The number of employees under your command will be cut by 50%. Are these the ones I'm losing? So I'm losing Johnson, who I just promoted. Song. Armstrong. Van Dal... Not Van Dal! Pong! Pong's already complained about me, even though he's a good cop. Um, I can't quite get the... Robbins, no, Ha, Gordon, Mole, not Mole, Mazza, no, Grant, no, Samdi, don't like you, Martin, you, Jesus, oh hey, what's this, what, I've, I can, imp wait, 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 so I'm sacking these, they're sacking these cops, but then I can immediately hire more, so one, two, three, four, five, six I'm losing from shift A. And I'm losing one from shift B. What the hell? Okay, so you need to go to shift A. 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 Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm not employing you just for the sake. Do you know, I think they do this nat um, randomly, you know, every so often. Because our cops are getting good. So they just want you to start over again. Right, we've run out of cops to hire, but we can hire six detectives. Um, we're losing three detectives on shift A, and we're losing three detectives on shift B. Okay, so um, you can go on to shift... So, thankfully, we've still got Weaver, who's at top there, but we're losing Mole, so we need a top one on B. So... Um, Chauncey Newbury, you're going on B. 
Shui Canu, you can go on A. And Alfonso de Loraz, or L L Lozar, where the hell do I get Loraz from? You can go on B as well. Good, and obviously we'll have to employ some more people tomorrow. What a nightmare. Kochi Nordlander, assault at the gas station. Ah, oh, the cockroach incident. Well done, guys. You handled that brilliantly. And you're not being fired in the morning, so you'll be pleased with that as well. Eddie's Burgers. A woman on the is on the phone claiming that the person sitting at the next table is the terrible maniac from the TV. Blah, 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 blah. It's not the dentist. Go away. I'm not even going to bother answering that one. Suspicious individual. A strange taxi driver brought me home one night and stayed out... This is a bit weird. A strange taxi driver brought me home one night. Not tonight, one night. So it could have been a night this week. Then stayed out, parked outside my house. Looked up at my windows. I'm afraid that the maniac... So he's been sitting there for days, is he? Right, Mazza, your last duty. I'll send you with um, Asano. Asano's going to tell her how tragic it is that Mazza's been fired. It's not her fault. You know, they make a dream little team. Uh, homicides. Oh, we've got some more frames. Ah, it's the kid. I. Right. Uh, let's do. Th I think it might be the kid because we got nothing with um this dude, killing her. The brother. Someone banged on the door. My mother told me to hide in the bed and close my eyes. Blah blah blah. I heard muffled screams. Got from under the bed. I found my mother. Okay. Medical examiner. Blow struck to the head. The killer was standing behind the victim. Death was immediate. Body shows no signs of other violence. She was swearing at her brother. Come for a beggar for money. Blah, blah, blah. Then she started yelling at her son. Is that her yelling at her son? So her brother comes around. Hello, sis. I need some money. Um... She starts yelling at him. He goes out. She slams the door behind him. Or is that her answering the door? It's difficult to say. Youngster comes here, bops her on the head. No, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Then she starts yelling at the sun. Then he bops her on the head. No. Is this the kid finding this hammer somewhere? So, hang on. It is. He brings on the bell. He comes in. Asks for money. They have a fight. He goes. He then picks up the, the hammer. No. Oh, unless he rings. She answers the door. They have a fight. He leaves. She yells at him first, then he grabs the hammer. Oh, boom! Got it! Yes! Ah, the victim's son. He killed his mother because she made him stop playing video games. Well, it's hardly his fault then, is it? Ghetto homicide. Right, Percy. Darius. There, there, there's a kid, for heaven's sake. You should be able to go and arrest him. Drugs report. Oh, investigation here. Um, so what are we going to do? We're going to do... Main entrance after closing time. Truck fill comes twice a month, so truck comes. Uh, driver moves the boxes. Driver moves the proxies. Oh, hang on, what kind of truck? Is it a big truck? No, that 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 never got under the uh, under the thing, would it? And that's him moving the boxes. We know that's not him, and that's him with the key as well. So he does double lock, maybe? No. Okay, we need more frames. Harassment. Man was coming home from his work from the factory. The bag he carried holds uh, only the change of clothes and a lunchbox. Can't even remember what that was, but great. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, let's get this another case closed. This would be awesome. Taxi driver was taking his break, enjoying a sandwich he'd bought from a home. There was no drill in this car. Yeah, but he could have been sitting there for days. It's a likely story. Um, time's still going on because they're going to try and arrest the little boy. He's made it to the house. Boom, offender caught. Well done, guys. 
Mold, your last day at work, you solved that final case. Well done. Great job. Great job. Oof. Well, that has been a good day. Well, <laughs> apart from the sanctions. Goodness me, I can't believe I'm losing all these cops and detectives. That's terrible. But we're going to leave it there, guys. Next time, we're going to have to obviously pick up and see if we can hire some more people lickety-split. And we'll pick it up from there. So thanks for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy this. And join me next time for more This is the Police. I'll see you then.